The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish preparing the yoke of the dress. So what I've done is I've ironed on some fusible stabiliser and I've pressed uh, the placket where uh, I've marked it. And now all I need to do is sew a straight line, straight stitch line down the front. I've changed my thread colour to a lighter colour just so you can see it, but when you're doing your dress at home, you need to, you can just use the same thread. So we're going to set the machine up for a straight stitch. I'm just going to move the dial to number two so I have a straight stitch and I'm going to change my stitch length to two and I'm going to take my stitch width down to nothing. Uh, tension can remain the same. So now I'm going to sew my stitch line down the placket. It's always a good idea to do a test first so I'm just going to try on this spare piece of fabric. I just want to see what my stitch length looks like. Okay, I think that's a bit short, so I'm just going to increase that to 2.5 and then I'm happy with that. When sewing the placket, you can place it up to the far guide on the uh, stitch plate and just sew down. When I reach the end, I'm just going to reverse a little bit to secure my seam by pressing the lever. The next stage is to mark the buttonholes. So your first buttonhole is three quarters of an inch in from the edge. I'm just going to mark that here. And then after that you need to mark one and three quarter inches in for each buttonhole. And we've got four buttonholes that we need to sew. And you just need to make sure that they are in the centre. I don't need to measure my button because the buttonhole foot will do that for me. So I just place a button in the back of the foot and then I place the foot on the machine. So now I'm going to attach my buttonhole foot. And I need to engage the buttonhole lever. I bring it down and then push to the back. First of all, I'm going to sew a test buttonhole to see how it looks. So it's going to do the front bar tack first, and then it will move on to do the first bead, the correct length, then it does the back bar tack, and then the next bead, and then you just need to do a few stitches and stop to secure. And now I'm going to just cut open my buttonhole so I can test and see if my button fits. So I'm going to go from the outside in, both ends. I'm just going to see if my buttonhole is going to go through. If you want, you can adjust the tension for your buttonhole, or if the beads aren't um, sewing evenly, you can adjust the balance with a screwdriver there's a little wheel at the side that you can alter. So you need to check that your buttonhole lever is pushed back and then you line up the hole in the foot with the markings on your fabric and then you're ready to start sewing. The buttonhole length is now set so you can carry on and sew the other three. Okay. 
Now I'm ready to sew my buttons on. I need to mark where they're going to go. So the first thing I need to do is finish um, cutting open my buttonholes. So I'm just going to do this lower one. Once again, I'm going to go from the edge into the middle. And then I can place both bits of fabric together and just with a chalk marker I can mark in the middle and that's going to show me where I need to place my buttons. Now I need to change my presser foot but first of all I'm going to replace my buttonhole lever, push that back up then I can take my buttonhole foot off and attach my button sewing on foot. So now I'm going to set up my machine for sewing on a button. I need to change it to a zigzag stitch. I need my stitch length to be on zero. And depending on how wide the holes are on your button, it can be between three and five. I'm going to start off at four and see how that goes. And I also need to lower the feed dogs on my machine so my button doesn't move. So I'm just going to take my extension table off and there's a little switch underneath so I just push that over. I can put my extension table back on and place my fabric underneath the foot. So now I place the button under the buttonhole foot so I can see both holes and I need to do a test to make sure that the needle goes into the hole. So I do the first hole and then the second hole, so that fits nicely. So now I need to change to a straight stitch so I secure my threads at the beginning. So I'm going to select a straight stitch and sew a couple of stitches. Now I can change back to a zigzag, sew my button on. And then at the end, I go back to a straight stitch to secure. And now I just need to turn my button around and do the other holes. So I'm going to now do the other two holes and it's the same process. So I just check, it's going to fit. So back to a zigzag, check it's going to fit. Do a straight stitch. And that's my button. So now I've finished sewing my buttonholes and I've sewed my buttons on and I just need to do them up and then I'm ready to move on to the next section.